In this video, I will show you how I went from an idea to a full 2D floor plan and then from that into a 3D visualization for the full process. And the best part about this is that all of this is done in a brand new architecture tool that is absolutely free to get started with. So I'm right here inside Synapse, as you can see, very, very smooth user interface. And the best part about this is that it's on the web, so you do not need to download it or have a strong PC. Basically, right here, it's all the tools that you need. So it's super simple, but it has everything you need at the same time. Right here, you can add a frame, which is basically uh, where you draw, so I guess, uh, a frame inside the canvas. And then right here is basic drafting tool, rectangle, circle, etc. And then we have the wall option as well. Now we can either click the wall through here or we can just use W as a shortcut. So you can see that I've pretty much done most of the work here in this floor plan. However, I will just show you the same basic tools that I used over and over again to draw all this, just so I do not bore you out with just dragging and dropping in very simple stuff. Now, here's what I'll show you. So basically we can go ahead and use the uh, W key for the wall tool. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw the wall tool all the way here to where this connects. And as you can see, this looks a bit weird, but that's because we haven't messed the style of everything yet. So now I can basically select this, use the fill tool to basically apply the same fill and then apply the same stroke as over here. And then the thickness of the stroke can just leave it at 1.8. That way it matches everything else that we have here. So this is how easy it is just to basically drag and drop and draw a wall in full architecture floor plans. Then if you want to add a basically an entrance door here, we can either go right here and use the opening or I'm gonna use Shift O as a shortcut and basically place the door right on this wall. Then we can basically put it on the other side, we can basically rotate it or flip it. I can basically move it over here, dragging it around wherever we need it inside the wall. Uh, basically, then we can just increase it in size since it's an entrance door and leave it somehow like this. Now, the other very cool part about Synapse is that it also has an asset library. So you do not have to draw all of these yourself. You can just go over here and we can drag and drop something like this round dining table with, I guess, um, four chairs as well. So what I can do is then we can mask this tile with all of these. I'm gonna select them. Let's go to fill and then we're gonna need this for solid, and then we can use the eyedropper tool to match the same color between these two, and then also for the show, the same thing. All right, now we can basically move this around and tweak the placement. Over here, I'm gonna show you how we can add windows as well. So we're gonna use the same opening tool as we did for the doors. We can just go over here, and we can use the window tool, basically by using this drop down menu. And then obviously we can resize it. We can make them bigger or any way that we need it. Um, then we can just duplicate this and then basically move this along the wall. So let me just get a little bit closer. Let's move this so it is right next to that window. And then we could probably just add another one over here. So we can basically leave the windows like this for now. And this is exactly how we can add all types of openings inside Synapse. Now. Basically, you've seen all of this is basic CAD drawing tools, dragging and dropping, all super simple. Now, one part that we can integrate here, which I think is super, super cool, is that if we go right here on this camera option, we can basically click on the camera. We can go ahead and click once over here, and then we can click another time in the direction of the camera. And then over here, we can also choose the how wide we want the focal length, et cetera, et cetera. And with just one prompt, we can take a 2D view into a 3D visualization. So I'm gonna type in right here, create a realistic living room in a cabin in mountains in, I don't know, Norway. Um, make it overcast uh, weather and also make it, I don't know, Kengo Kuma style, which is uh, an architecture style of an architect, right? So it's gonna try to match it to uh, that architect style. And in just a second, by the way, the average time of creating a render is 9.8 seconds, which is absolutely insane in my opinion. And this is the first tool that it actually gets. Let me show you. Okay, so it actually gets 
the exact same dimensions from the 2D floor plan into a 3D view. This is not randomly generated. It's the only tool that has mathematically precise dimensions. And then we can probably say like, make the windows, I don't know, uh, four meters high. So floor to ceiling height. And I'm gonna show you some very cool stuff. So um, this is also another feature which is called branching, which you can branch off from one idea. So from one view of the floor plan, you can branch off to multiple stuff and it is super, super easy to use. And now as you can see, it made the windows a lot larger. Now what we can say is that make this uh, modern, or I guess, yeah, I can say make this Scandinavian style. And then we can also tell it, make it a concrete brutalist, right? So now we have two options from the same image. You can see as it's feeding into the frames and then we can go ahead and compare the two. So maybe we can tell it something more precise as in uh, switch, switch this to Ikea Scandinavian furniture, right? So let's just click send now as you can see it changed only the color so not the structure so much but what we can do as well is that we can basically tell it make it i don't know um zaha hadid style right so let's just click send once again and uh, now this has added some more stuff here at the back uh, but we can be a lot more i guess um let's say we can be a lot more precise with what we want out of it so we can say make a you, I guess, use a material palette that has wood, stone, uh, concrete, and add a fireplace. Um, and yeah, I think we can just click send for this one. As you can see, multiple frames being at the same uh, time, and you can see it, it tried to match the style of Zaha did with some of the curves, etc., etc. Uh, let's see how this turned out. So as you can see, it added stone, it added a fireplace and all of this. Now, I just wanna go ahead and show you how we can also add exact pieces of furniture. So we can just drag and drop, for example, this armchair from Ikea and we can say, add this armchair right next to the windows. And we can just click send and you can see how this is going to be added here. Now, we can also test out design options in terms of mood as well. So once this is created, I'm gonna show you exactly how we can do that too. So it added the armchair as well. Now what I will do over here is that I'm gonna go ahead and tell it, okay, make it nighttime. So now this is the nighttime mood of it. And we can say, for example, add a floor lamp, which is turned on next to the sofa. So we're testing a lot of design options. You can see how fast it's going. So now it added another floor lamp right here. We can also tell it the exact locations if you wanted to. You get the idea. I mean, we created a bunch of renders. We've done a bunch of branching here, and this exactly shows how fast you can test design options inside Synapse, which I think it is truly amazing. Now, let me show you some more stuff on the cool part. I think even cooler part, uh, the exterior. So I'm gonna keep this elevation. So we drew this elevation here, and then I'm gonna say it, uh, make an exterior realistic render of this cabin in Switzerland mountains in an overcast atmosphere. Um, keep the landscape very raw and natural material. So let's send this here. And now you're gonna see how it is going to create a exterior render as well, right? So you've seen, I've done and tested a bunch of stuff earlier as well. So you can see some interior renders. You can see how I did the cabin here, uh, basically drew the second floor and elevation as well. But by the time that we go back here, it has already created the render, which I think is absolutely lovely because it has created it based on the elevation. Uh, it might've took some wrong information from this and added another, uh, I guess, roof pitch there, but that's absolutely fine because now we can go ahead and test things out. So for example, we can say, uh, make it snowy weather and add kids playing with snow outside. Now we can just go ahead and see how it creates this. And then 
um, I guess what can we test as well here? So <laughs> this is just insane. This is so, so, so good. Uh, basically we can tell, uh, turn on interior warm lights and then we can test more stuff out. So uh, let me check, what else can we do? I guess let's switch out some materials. Let's say, okay, so now it did that as well, which I think is super cool. I mean, I'm not gonna even go and test more stuff because I mean, you can see how much stuff I've done, but, but this is the coolest new architecture software that has come out. You can do everything. It's an all-in-one platform for ideation, documentation, and visualization. By the way, Synapse has a bunch of new features coming up in the next few weeks. This just launched, so you might have minor bugs, but the cool part is that you get to build with Synapse as part of the community if you join now for free in the link in the description. Just as a little teaser, and as a thank you that you stayed all the way through the end, if you draw a polyline, so something like this, whatever, even a regular shape like a rectangle, and you switch right here to the floor plan generator and type in two bedroom apartment, it will generate a full bedroom, a full two bedroom apartment with just one click with AI for the first time ever in architecture. But that is coming out in the next few weeks. So stay tuned, go ahead and sign up in the first link in the description. If you wanna watch more content of me testing out the coolest new architecture tool, go ahead and watch the video right here.